Today we're diving deep into mechanical engineering and taking a look at the 10 different main branches. I have both a bachelor's and master's degree in mechanical engineering, so I've suffered through all of these. So I can hopefully help you understand what mechanical engineering really is and which disciplines could be interesting for you to specialize in. Now there's actually two different ways to specialize in mechanical engineering. So I've roughly divided all of the 10 different branches into two different groups. Groups. The first option is to specialize in terms of the application so that you focus on a specific product or industry. The second option is to specialize in terms of the engineering principles you use and the kinds of problems you solve so that you focus on specific methods and technologies that you use to solve problems across many different applications. So let's start with the first group, the branches of mechanical engineering that focus on a specific application. The first big branch of mechanical engineering is transportation. In this field, engineers focus on solving transportation problems and coming up with innovative ways to transport people and goods safely and efficiently. This includes cars, buses, ships, airplanes, trucks, literally any kind of transportation. But you can actually break this down further into two main branches that are the two largest transportation branches of mechanical engineering. And those are automotive engineering and aerospace engineering. Automotive engineering is focused on motorized vehicles like cars, trucks and motorcycles. So automotive engineers design, manufacture and test vehicles and their components. This could mean designing the engine, improving the aerodynamics of the car, increasing the fuel efficiency, adding safety features, optimizing the production flow and literally any other problem you could work on when it comes to cars. The other big transportation branch is aerospace engineering, which is focused on aircraft and spacecraft. Aerospace engineers design, develop, prototype and test aircraft aircraft, spacecraft, satellites and missiles and again solve all kinds of problems when it comes to aircraft and spacecraft. You can further divide aerospace engineering into two overlapping branches which you also often see as specialized degree programs. It's called aeronautical engineering when it's focused on aircraft like planes and helicopters and it's called astronautical engineering when it's focused on spacecraft like rockets and satellites. And the final application focus branch of mechanical engineering I want to talk about is biomedical engineering. This is the application of engineering principles to biology and medicine for healthcare purposes. Biomedical engineers develop all kinds of biomedical products like implants, prosthetics, artificial organs, surgical robots, diagnostic systems and biocompatible materials. Now let's look at the branches of mechanical engineering that focus on specific engineering principles and technologies but can be used in lots of different industries. The first branch in this group is mechanical design. This is, I think, the most well-known branch of mechanical engineering. It's also sometimes called machine design or engineering design. Mechanical design engineers develop products, machines and mechanical systems for functional use. This can mean creating a new design, improving an existing design or designing something on the basis of another design. Now, this used to involve a lot of drawing by hand to create technical drawings and there's still some of that. For example, if you want to make a quick sketch and you likely also have to make some hand drawings in engineering school. But nowadays, almost all mechanical design engineers use some form of CAD software or computer aided design software that allows you to create 3D drawings of components, assemble them into larger products and also easily turn them into 2D drawings and do all kinds of other analyses you might do when you're designing something, like making sure it can withstand all the forces that will be acting on it. Another big and well-known branch of mechanical engineering is manufacturing. And this is actually the branch I specialized in during my master's degree. It's also often called production engineering and it's focused on turning raw material into an updated or new product in the most efficient, effective and economical way possible. Now it doesn't only use principles of mechanical engineering but also industrial engineering, electrical engineering and chemical engineering. Manufacturing engineers analyze, design and improve systems for the production of high quality economical products. These systems can include computer networks, robots, machine tools and material handling equipment. The next branch I want to talk about is mechatronics. This is a combination of three large engineering disciplines. Mechanics or mechanical engineering, electronics or electrical engineering and computing or software engineering. So it's combining engineering principles and integrating technologies from all three fields to solve problems. 
problems and mechatronics engineers design computer-controlled electromechanical systems like robotic arms, automated machines, modern cars, cameras with autofocus, tools and drones. Now this next branch can be considered a subdiscipline of mechatronics but it's a pretty big one so I want to mention it separately and that's robotics. Robotics focuses on the design and development of automated robotic systems and specifically their structures, mechanical motion capabilities and heat transfer properties and robotics engineers ensure that the robots are physically capable of all of the tasks they will be programmed to do. There's also a pretty big overlap with manufacturing engineering because robots are often used in manufacturing. So you have robotics engineers who work in the manufacturing industry and manufacturing engineers who design and develop robotic systems. Now this next branch of mechanical engineering is pretty niche and that's acoustics or acoustical engineering which deals with sound and vibration and their application in technology. So acoustical engineers are typically concerned with the design, analysis and control of sound. Some examples of applications of acoustical engineering are reducing unwanted noise, the use of ultrasound in medicine, reducing ground vibrations from railways, programming digital synthesizers, designing concert halls for an optimal listening experience, designing musical instruments and vibration control against earthquakes. Next we have nanotechnology which focuses on small systems at nanoscale. Nanotechnology engineers design, produce and use structures, devices and systems by manipulating atoms and molecules. It's used in a lot of different applications like electronics, energy storage, biomedicine, food, textile and material science. And the final branch I want to talk about is thermal engineering or thermodynamics which focuses on the transfer of heat, fluid mechanics and heating and cooling systems. Thermal engineers design systems that utilize different thermal sources of generated energy to create chemical, mechanical or electrical energy. It's used for example in the electric power industry, the automotive industry and the heating, ventilation and air conditioning industry or short HVAC for applications like power generators, car engines, airplanes and refrigerators. Now more or less all of these branches are something you can go into within a general mechanical engineering degree or with a specialized degree in that specific discipline or even just by working in that specific field later. It all depends on what your university offers and at what point you discover that you're interested in a specific field. You could even specialize in several of these at once or after one another. For example, becoming a robotics engineer in the biomedical industry or a manufacturing engineer in the automotive industry. If you're now unsure which kind of engineering major you should do, don't worry. I have found the best engineering major for people who can't choose, which I talk about in this video right here.